To make your crafty pencil pillow, you are going to need a dark shade of gray worsted weight yarn, linen worsted weight yarn, yellow worsted weight yarn, a soft pink worsted weight yarn, and a medium gray worsted weight yarn. All of the yarn that I'm using is Hobby Lobby's I Love This Yarn brand. You will also need a G 4.0 millimeter crochet hook. This is Clover Amore band and it is my favorite. A tapestry needle for sewing in your ends at the end. And a pair of scissors. You will also need some polyfill to stuff your pillow. Um, I can't fit that in the frame for the video, but I will link the exact brand that I use in the description or somewhere within the blog post that goes with this video. We're going to start with our yellow yarn and working on the front piece of our pillow. So let's grab our yellow yarn and our 4.0 millimeter crochet hook. Okay, starting with our yellow yarn, the pattern says to chain 48. So we're going to make a slip knot. And then we're going to chain 48 chains. Now for row one, the pattern says to skip the chain closest to your hook. So that's this guy. And starting in the next chain, single crochet 47 all the way down, but in the back bump, so normally we would go through this loop right here, and this is the this is the back loop and the front loop, but we're gonna be crocheting in the back bump. So we're just gonna turn this guy over and look at the back of our stitches. And this bump right here that's between the two stitches is where we're gonna insert our hook. And that's where we're gonna place our single crochets all the way down for a total of 47 single crochets. So that's one two, three, four. Okay, after we get 47 single crochets all the way down for row one, we're going to chain one and turn our work. For row two, we're just going to single crochet one time in each stitch all the way down, again for a total of 47 single crochets in row two. Okay, after we get our 47th single crochet to make row two, we're going to chain one and turn our work. For row three, we're just going to single crochet 47, so one time in each stitch all the way down again for a total of 47. Once we get to the end of the row, we're going to chain one and turn our work. For row four, we're going to single crochet in the first stitch. And then we're going to bobble stitch in the next stitch. So to do that, we're going to yarn over, insert our hook, grab our yarn, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, that's one. Yarn over, insert our hook, grab our yarn, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, that's two. Yarn over, insert back in the same hole, grab our yarn, yarn over, pull through two, that's three. And one more time for a total of four stitches in that same hole and five loops on your hook. Then we're gonna yarn over, pull through all the loops on our hook. That completes our bobble stitch. And then in the next stitch, we're just gonna put a single crochet right down in there I like to give my yarn a tug before I finish out the single crochet after a bobble stitch. That just helps the bobble pop a little more. And then on the, this would be the right side of our work. This side will have a little bit of texture because of the bobble stitches all the way down. So we're going to single crochet, bobble stitch, single crochet, bobble stitch all the way down the row.
and we will end on a single crochet stitch, chain one, and turn our work. We have two more stitches left in this row, a bobble stitch, and then we're going to end with a single crochet stitch, chain one, and turn our work. Now for rows five, six, seven, eight, and nine, so four more rows, we're just going to single crochet one time in each stitch all the way down for a total of 47 single crochets, chain one, turn our work. I will start here on camera for a little bit and then I will just do the rest of the rows off camera so you don't have to just watch me single crochet all day. I just finished row 9 and I believe I said 4 rows was 5 through 9 and I misspoke. That is definitely 5 rows. So five, six, seven, eight, nine. I'm getting ready to start row 10. I'm going to chain one and turn my work. For row 10, it's just gonna be just like row four. We're going to single crochet in the first stitch and then bobble stitch in the next stitch. So yarn over, insert our hook, grab our yarn, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, that's one, yarn over, insert our hook into the same stitch, grab our yarn, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, that's two. Do that two more times for a total of five loops on your hook. Yarn over, pull through all five loops, and then go directly into our single crochet in the next stitch. And we are going to repeat that all the way down for a total of 47 stitches, ending on a single crochet stitch, not a bobble stitch. Okay, I just finished my last stitch in row 10, which was a single crochet. Now I'm going to chain one and turn my work. For rows 11 through 15, we're just going to single crochet one time in each stitch for a total of 47 single crochets. So the next five rows will just be 47 single crochets all the way down. And again, I will start here on screen with you guys and then pop off, finish through row 15 and come back. I just finished my 47th single crochet in row 15. I'm going to chain one, turn my work, and get ready for row 16, which is another bobble row. So we'll single crochet in the first stitch, bobble in the second stitch, then repeat that all the way down, single bobble, single bobble, for a total of 47 stitches. You will end on a single crochet and not a bobble stitch chain one and turn your work. I just finished my 47th stitch in row 16, which is a single crochet. I'm going to chain one and turn my work. For rows 17 through 21, I'm just going to single crochet 47. So one time in each stitch all the way down, chain one, turn your work. And that's for rows 17 through 21. I just finished the 47th single crochet in row 21. Now I'm going to yarn over, chain one, and turn my work. For row 22, we're going to single crochet and bobble, single crochet, bobble, all the way down for a total of 47 stitches. Chain one, turn our work, and then rows 23 through 25 are gonna be just single crochets, and then we can tie off. So this is another bobble row. Just finished the 47th stitch in row 22, which was the single crochet. Chain one, turn my work. Now for rows 23, 24, 25, 
We're just going to single crochet one time in each stitch all the way down for a total of 47 single crochets in each row and then after we do row 25 we can tie off and cut our yarn. Okay, after doing our 47 stitches in row 25, we can go ahead and cut our yarn and tie off and we are finished with the front body portion of our crafty pencil pillow. I'm going to take a quick measurement or two for my friends who like to have measurements along the way. Our body so far is a little over 12 inches wide and just about five and a half inches tall. So I hope that helps you guys on the size aspect and now we are going to get ready for the next part. I just wanted to show you guys really quick that the back piece is made exactly like the front piece. You just leave off all of the bobble stitches. So you do everything exactly the same, same number of stitches in each row, same number of rows. You just do all single crochet stitches instead of the bobble stitches. And it's okay if your back piece turns out a little smaller than your front because the front piece has the bobble stitches and they're a little bit bigger than the single crochet stitches are. So if your back piece turns out to be a little bit smaller in size than your front piece that is a-okay when we put them together they will stretch and form the pillow so it will be fine just for gauge we have 12 inch almost for the width of the or the length of the back piece and about five and a quarter for the width just wanted to show you guys that real quick and for all of the pillow steps. So this one is exactly the same because there's no bobble stitches. This one is the same, just all single crochets. And then this one is exactly the same again. And then I will come back after I show you all these pieces because I know you haven't seen these yet. And then we will do the assembly section where I show you how to attach and stuff these guys together. Now we are going to start the eraser portion of our crafty pencil pillow and we are going to use our medium gray yarn. This one is called Gray Beard. We are going to join our medium gray yarn down here in the bottom of our yellow piece where we just ended. And to join our yarn I'm just going to insert my hook into the corner down there, grab my gray yarn and chain one. Now it's joined in there and we're going to single crochet 25 stitches across. Now since this is the raw edge of our work we will have to make places for our single crochets to go but we just want to evenly put 25 single crochets across the bottom. This does not count as one so we'll put one right back in that same spot. One, two, Three, four, five, six, and twenty-five. Chain one, and now we can turn our work. For rows two through twelve, we're just going to single crochet one time in each stitch down the row for a total of 25 single crochets. So we should have 12 total rows of um, the medium gray color. And then on the last single crochet, we're gonna switch to our pink and then get ready to make the eraser portion. So I'm going to crochet my 12 rows of 25 single crochets and then I will be back when we switch to pink. I'm getting ready to finish the last single crochet in row 12, but I so I insert my hook, pull up a loop. Let's see, let's just do it all over again. 
insert your hook, grab your yarn, pull up a loop. Instead of grabbing my gray, I'm gonna drop my gray, pick up my pink, and pull through both. Switching to pink, chain one and turn my work. Now you can clip the gray off because we're gonna be working with pink for the rest of our eraser. And for rows one through three, we're just going to single crochet 25, chain one, turn your work with our pink. So three rows of 25 single crochets. Just did my 25th single crochet in row three with my pink. I'm going to chain one, turn my work, and for row four, we're going to single crochet in the first stitch and then bobble crochet in the next stitch. So yarn over, insert our hook, grab our yarn, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, that's one. Do that three more times, that's two all in the same spot, that's three. Fourth time, now we have five loops on our hook, yarn over, pull through all loops, and then we're gonna go directly into our single crochet, and repeat that all the way across the row, bobble single, bobble single, and end with a single crochet, chain one, and turn our work. I just finished row four of my eraser, chain one and turn my work. Now rows five through seven are just going to be one single crochet in each stitch all the way down for a total of 25 single crochets, chain one and turn. So we will do 25 single crochets, so rows five through seven, so five, six, seven, the next three rows. Coming up on my last stitch in row seven, chain one, turn my work. For row eight, we're going to single crochet in the first stitch and then bobble crochet in the next stitch. Yarn over, insert our hook, grab our yarn, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, that's one. Three more times in the same hole, two, three, Four, giving us a total of five loops on our hook. Yarn over, pull through all of the loops. That completes our bobble stitch. Now we're gonna go directly into the next stitch for our single crochet, and we're gonna repeat that all the way down, going single crochet, bobble stitch, single crochet, bobble stitch, for a total of 25 stitches, and ending with a single crochet, chain one, and turn our work. Coming up on my last stitch in row eight is a single crochet, chain one, and turn our work. For rows nine through 11, we're just going to single crochet one time in each stitch for a total of 25 single crochets in each row, and, that, and then chain one and turn at the end of each row, and that is going to be rows nine, 10, and 11. I am finishing up row 11, and this is the last row for the eraser portion of this pillow. And then we can cut off our yarn and then tie off our tail here. And I will go ahead and measure my eraser portion for my measuring folks. You can see it kind of fans out a little bit. That's just because the bobble stitches are bigger than the single crochet stitches. But once we join this guy with our other piece, everything will fall into place. So this one is just over five inches, about five and a quarter tall. And then let's go here for six inches wide. 
Now we are going to attach our linen yarn up here on this side of the pillow and get ready to make our pencil tip. I'm getting ready to attach my linen yarn at the top of the pencil, but I'm just going to use this little scrap ball of linen. It shouldn't take a whole lot of yarn to make our pencil tips. So since I'm having a ball, I'm going to use my sweet unicorn yarn ball. These guys are available for purchase, but they are a limited edition. I will link an affiliate link to this in the description of this video if you're watching it on YouTube and throughout the blog post that goes with this pattern if you're looking at it on my blog. If the link doesn't work, that means they are sold out already. So they are very limited and once they're sold out, we won't be getting any more. So to join in my linen yarn, I'm just going to go under the first stitch over here on the right side of the pillow, grab my yarn, and then chain to hold it in place. Now we're going to, for rows one and two, we're just going to single crochet 25 all the way down, chain one and turn. And then for row two, single crochet 25, chain one and turn. For row one, we are going to have to make our own places for our stitches to go since this is the raw edge, just like row one of our gray part down here. So we'll go ahead and start right now with row one with our linen. Just making our own stitches for a total of 25 single crochets down the row. Twenty-four, and then one more makes twenty-five. Chain one and turn our work. Going to do the same thing for row two, but this time we have our nice single crochet stitches to go into, and we don't have to make up our own spots. Chain one and turn our work. Now for row three, we're going to single crochet in the first stitch. And then we're gonna single crochet decrease over the next two stitches. So we're just gonna take these two stitches and decrease so there's just one stitch in their place instead of two. I like to do the invisible decrease. I think it just gives it a nice clean look. So to do that, you're going to insert your hook under the front loop only of the, the next stitch, which is your first stitch in the decrease, and then just kind of whip it around and go under the front loop of the next stitch also. So you've got both front loops on your hook right there. Those are the two front loops from my two stitches that I'm decreasing together. Then I'm just going to yarn over, pull through both of those two loops, and then yarn over and pull through both of those to finish out my single crochet. I'm going to go into the next one for a single crochet and then I want to show you the decrease, how clean that looks with the invisible decrease. It is my favorite method for single crochet decreasing. And then it says to single crochet 19. We already did one right there, so we've got 18 more. Two, three, We're going to invisible decrease over these two stitches. If you don't like the invisible decrease or just prefer a traditional single crochet decrease, that's fine. It doesn't matter. Both of them will turn out beautiful. So just go under the front loop of the first stitch, kind of swoop our hook around and under the front loop of the second stitch, yarn over, go through both of those two loops, yarn over, pull through two to complete the stitch. And then one more single crochet finishes out the row. Chain one and turn our work. Row three has 23 single crochets in it. Now for row four, we're just going to single crochet one time in each stitch all the way down the row, again for a total of 23 single crochets. So no decreases in row four. Okay, 23, chain one, turn our work. For row five, 
We go into single crochet, then decrease, then single crochet 17, then decrease and end on a single crochet for a total of 21 single crochets in the row. So we're going to start with our single crochet and then an invisible decrease over the next two stitches. And we've got 17 single crochet, 15, 16, 17, decrease over the next two stitches. And then one single crochet in the last stitch, chain one, turn our work. For row six, we're just going to single crochet one time in each stitch all the way down for a total of 21 single crochets in the row. Twenty, twenty-one, chain one, turn our work. For row seven, we're going to single crochet in the first stitch, decrease over the next two stitches, single crochet 15, decrease over the next two stitches, then single crochet in the last stitch for a total of 19 single crochets in the row. So single crochet, then decrease over the next two stitches. Then we're going to single crochet 15. Decrease over the next two stitches. And then single crochet in the last one chain one and turn our work. Now we're going to, for row eight, we're going to single crochet one time in each stitch across for a total again of 19 single crochets in the row. Chain one and turn our work and you can start to see our pencil tip taking shape. It kind of looks like we're sharpening our pencil with yarn. For row nine, we are going to single crochet in the first stitch, decrease over the next two stitches, single crochet 13, decrease, single crochet in the last stitch for a total of 17 stitches in the row. So we start with our single crochet and decrease over the next two stitches. And then single crochet 13. Oops. 13, decrease over the next two stitches, then single crochet in the last stitch, chain one, turn our work. For row 10, we are just going to single crochet one time in each stitch across for a total of 17 single crochet stitches in the row. Chain one and turn our work for row 11. We're going to single crochet in the first stitch, decrease over the next two stitches, single crochet in the next 11, decrease, single crochet in the last stitch, chain one and turn our work. Single crochet in the first stitch, decrease over the next two stitches, single crochet in the next 11 stitches, Decrease over the next two. And then single crochet in the last stitch. Chain one and turn our work. For row 12, we're just going to single crochet one time in each stitch across for a total of 15 single crochets. 14, 15, chain one and turn our work. For row 13, we're going to single crochet in the first stitch, decrease over the next two stitches, single crochet in the next nine stitches, one, two, three, eight, nine, decrease over the next two stitches, Then single crochet in the last stitch, chain one, turn our work. For row 14, we're just going to single crochet one time in each stitch across for a total of 13 
single crochet stitches and chain one and turn our work for row 15 we are going to single crochet in the first stitch decrease over the next two stitches single crochet in the next seven stitches one two three four five six seven decrease over the next two and then one single crochet in the last stitch chain one turn our work for row 16 we're just going to single crochet one time in each stitch across for a total of 11 single crochets but when we get to our last one number 11 we are going to switch to our graphite color or dark gray yarn to finish out our pencil tip this is my last single crochet here so i'm going to start my single crochet but instead of pulling through with my linen to finish the stitch i'm going to grab my graphite color and pull the graphite yarn through instead of the linen chain one and turn my work we can go ahead and snip the linen yarn off now leaving a tail long enough for sewing in and get this beautiful guy out of the way bye bye handsome okay so for row 17 we're going to be using our graphite color yarn for the rest of the pencil tip we're going to start with single crochet in the first stitch decrease over the next two stitches Single crochet in the next five stitches. One, two, three, oops, four, five. Decrease over the next two. And then single crochet in the last stitch. Chain one, turn our work. For row 18, we're just going to single crochet one time in each stitch for a total of nine single crochets. Chain one, turn our work. For row 19, we're going to single crochet in the first stitch, decrease over the next two stitches. Single crochet in the next three stitches. One, Two, three, decrease over the next two, and then single crochet in the last stitch, chain one, and turn our work. For row 20, we are just going to single crochet one time in each stitch for a total of seven single crochets. Seven, chain one turn our work for row 21 we are going to single crochet in the first stitch decrease over the next two stitches single crochet in the next stitch decrease over the next two stitches and then single crochet in the last stitch. Chain one, turn our work. For row 22, just single crochet one time in each stitch across for a total of five single crochets. Three, four, five, chain one, turn our work. For row 23, we are going to do single crochet in the first stitch. And then we're going to single crochet three together. So we're taking these three stitches here and turning them into one stitch. So to do that, we're gonna insert under the front loop of the first stitch, whip it around, go under the front loop of the second stitch, just like we were doing with the regular decrease. But then we're just gonna whip it one more time and go under the front stitch of the third stitch. So you can see I've got all those loops those three loops plus the one that was already on my hook 
and I'm going to grab my yarn and go through the first three loops and then yarn over and pull through two to finish out the stitch and then I'm going to single crochet in the last stitch chain one and turn our work then for row 24 we are going to decrease over the first two stitches so I'm just going to do a regular single crochet decrease here since this is the back of my pillow and this is the right side and I want it to be cleaner on this side so I just did a regular single crochet decrease I'll do it again just insert your hook and then grab your yarn pull up a loop insert your hook into the next stitch grab your yarn pull up a loop yarn over pull through all three loops and then we're going to single crochet in the next stitch for a total of two stitches chain one and turn and row 25 is just one sad little lonely de decrease so we'll go insert our hook under the front loop of the first stitch whip it around under the front loop of the second stitch grab our yarn pull through yarn over and finish out the stitch and now we can cut our graphite yarn and tie it off now the whole front piece of our pillow is finished look how cute next we have to do the back piece of our pillow which is exactly the same as the front piece but no bobble stitches and I'm gonna add little clips of that um, throughout the videos for you guys and then we will come back and assemble this guy with the back piece and then stuff and finish our pillow after you get the front and back pieces of your pencil pillow made, it is time to assemble them together. You're going to want to lay one on top of the other. The way you can tell which side of the back pillow is the right side and which side is the wrong side, on the wrong side you can see the back of the stitches where we joined. So you can see the the where you changed colors, that's the back of the stitch. The right side shows the front of the stitch when we did all of our color changes, so it's a little bit smoother. So we're gonna put right sides facing out with the top piece on top and the bottom piece on bottom. Pattern says to attach your pink yarn in the bottom right corner of your eraser. So if this is how we were looking at our pencil, the bottom right corner is going to be this guy right here and that's where we will attach our pink I'm just going to move the tail out of the way go ahead and insert my hook and then insert my hook in the same spot of the stitch on the back piece because we're going to be crocheting these pieces together with single crochets making sure to go through the front piece and the back piece in the same stitch just on the other side of the pillow. That way everything lines up. And now we can insert our hook into the same space we were just in for joining in both front and back pieces of the pillow. And put our single crochet right there. And we're going to do that all the way down the pink row. Then when we get up here to the gray, we're going to switch to our gray yarn. It's a little wonky making your own space for your stitches to go. Once we get to the yellow part, it'll be a little easier. Okay, this is going to be our last pink stitch, so we're going to start with our pink and then go ahead and clip it off 
And now we're going to grab our gray beard or our medium gray, not our darkest gray because that's for our tip. And grab the yarn and pull through for the color change and then just tighten everything up back here. And continue single crocheting everything together just like we were doing before. Since I still haven't sewn in all of my tails, I'm just going to squish them to the inside of the pillow so they are out of the way and I can sew them in all at once. Squishing that guy. And this is my last gray single crochet. And then I'm going to cut that and pick up my yellow and just continue single crocheting everything together this is going to be a little easier because I'm going to pull these tails out of the way because we are in actual stitches this time and not making up our own spots like before This is my last yellow single crochet. You can clip that off and pick up my linen, which is still hanging out in my yarn bowl. And we are just going to keep going, joining these two pieces together and back to making our own spaces again. I'm just going to actually. Sure, this isn't gappy here. Well, that's fine. Okay, coming up on my last linen single crochet. Clip my yarn and pick up my granite color. Graphite, I mean, graphite color. My dark gray. Just finish out the stitch. The pattern also says to put three single crochet stitches in each of the three corner pieces on this pillow, corner spots. We are almost to our first corner, which is going to be the very tip of our pencil lead up here. So when we get to the tip, we're going to remember to put three single crochet stitches to make it a nicely clean, uniform, rounded corner. So 
this is the very top stitch. It was our final decrease that we did. And then the same stitch over here on this side. And I'm going to put three single crochets right in that same spot. And I'm also going to first shove those tails into the inside of the pillow so they're out of my way. And then I'm going to put three single crochets in the tip. It's hard to work with dark yarn. So that guy just doesn't want to go in there. I will put that in later. One, two, three, and now we can turn and start going back down the other side of our pencil. I hope this dark color of yarn is showing up okay on camera. After I do a few yellow stitches, I'm going to go ahead and flip the pillow inside out, sew in all of the tails, and then flip it right side out again, and then stuff this part because sometimes it gets hard to adjust the stuffing all the way from the eraser end. So I'm going to flip it inside out, making sure that I leave a long spot over here so I don't lose my stitch. And then I will use my tapestry needle and sew in all of these tails. That way it will already be done and then I can start stuffing. So I, and then there's lots of tails on this side too that we will have to pull in to the inside and sew. And I will do that with my crochet hook. But I will just go ahead and sew some stitches that are already on the inside. I'm going to show you guys how I do it for a couple of them and then I'm just going to turn the camera off and sew the rest in because you won't need to see me sewing all of them in. The two strings that where color changes happened, I'm just going to double knot those just so they're extra secure and then I'm going to go in with my tapestry needle and sew this guy in the place. Be careful not to accidentally sew the two pieces of the pillow together. Just go in the stitches on one piece of the pillow and don't accidentally get under the fibers of the other side. So that's how I do it. I just keep going under some stitches in a few different directions. I try to go over myself at least once or twice. And then I will snip it off, making sure I didn't accidentally sew it together. That would be frustrating. Then I'm going to start sewing in the rest of these, and I will turn the camera back on when I get that done. Okay, I have just finished sewing in all of my tails, I'm pretty sure. So now we can pop this guy back out all the way to the tippy. There we go. Okay. Now I am going to stuff this part of my pencil pillow so it doesn't get too far away from the end when I go to stuff the rest of it. That way I can just get the stuffing nicely into the tip of the pencil. So I'm going to be just do that now and then just taking some polyfill and then I will finish sewing up the pencil or crocheting it up I should say and then stuffing it the rest of the way. This way we get a nicely nice evenly stuffed pencil tip. Isn't that cute?
now I can finish single crocheting the pieces together. That one got a little loose. I'm just gonna take that one out and redo it. Once I get down to the gray, I will switch to gray, then pink, then stuff it, and then crochet across the very bottom to keep it closed. This is all the gray that I have left with me, um, but it should be more than enough. We will see if I win this game of yarn chicken. Now back to crocheting the gray together. And then I will have to go back also and sew in the few of tails that I have left. Okay, I have one yarn chicken with lots left over. Now I can grab my pink. We are almost done. So the pattern says, I remember we talked about it at the, when I was closing up the tip down here, to put three single crochets in each corner. And this up here is one of our corners. So I'm just going to go ahead and put three single crochets into the top of the first stitches up here so I don't forget. And then I will sew in my tails and then I will stuff the rest. So I'm just going to stick my crochet hook into the pillow down here and then pull these tails to the inside and then I can flip it inside out and sew them in. I just like to sew all of my tails on the inside of the pillow and not the pretty outside. Just keeping the colors the same. Now I'm going to sew these in really quickly. I don't have to flip the whole thing inside out, I just got to get to this part right here. There we go, that should be enough. I'm just going to tie them first so they don't come apart no matter what. Also, a little side tip, I'm saving all of my pencil scraps and putting them in this little blank ornament and using it as a teacher gift this year. Um, my daughter is getting ready to start preschool for the first time and I thought that would make a really cute gift for the holidays. A little pencil themed Christmas tree ornament made out of scrap yarn and I'm going to put her teacher's initial on it and a little pencil decal too. I'll probably make a blog post for it eventually. Little teacher ornaments made out of scrap yarn. We could do some red yarn and fill it up with a whole bunch of red yarn and make it look like a little apple. I'll do a whole scrap yarn teacher gift blog post. You know, once I get all of my other millions of things that I have to do done. <laughs> hey. Okay, last tail. Now we can stuff the rest of the way. And then close it up and remember to put two more single crochets right here too to round out that corner. 
I did see a tip one time with stuffing pillows that if you separate your polyfill a little bit so it's not all clumpy, that helps it um, disperse evenly, evenlier, <laughs> more evenly throughout the body of the pillow. So if you've got time for that and you just want to separate out some of the bigger hunks, it might give your pillow a more finished look. This would be a good job for some kiddos. If you've got some, you can say, hey, we'll watch some TV and separate my polyfill. And then I'm just going to stuff it down in here until it's completely stuffed in the full length of the pillow. I will do this off camera and then come back because you do not need to watch me separate all of this polyfill and then shove it all into that pencil. I will come back when I am doing any adjustments that need to happen. Okay, I have finished stuffing the crafty pencil pillow all the way from the tip to the eraser and now I'm just going to single crochet the eraser ends closed, so on my tails, and then it's gonna be all finished. It's a little hard to do on camera now that it's stuffed. I'm gonna try. Can't even see me, okay. Here we go. So this is this might be impossible to do on camera. I don't even know if you can see this good, but because I would need to put the pencil between my legs, eraser end up so I could get to the stitches easily. But I'm going to do that off camera. Um, but I will hop back on and show you the finished thing. Just going to single crochet all the way down. And when I get down here, I'm going to put two more single crochets in that stitch that has the first one over here to make a total of three. So that's what I'm gonna do off camera. Okay, I finished and I'm getting ready to join into the top of the first stitch over here. Then I can cut my yarn. And I'm just gonna give it some squishes so the polyfill will like move around and fill in all the cracks and nooks and crannies. When you separate out the polyfill like that, it really helps with a better, more uniform stuff. Now, all I'm gonna do is sew in this tail. You don't need to watch me do that because you've seen me do lots of others. So here is the finished crafty pencil pillow and I will be sure to include lots of pretty pictures so you can see the thing in full and I will take pictures of my daughter holding it so you can see what it looks like with a four-year-old's hands holding it. <laughs>